Hey everyone, this is Rajendran from Market Calls and welcome to Market Profile 101 tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the basics of Market Profile. Uh, you can ask me what is Market Profile, right? So Market Profile is more of a visualization tool to understand what is actually happening in the market. So, so it is like reading the uh, pitch report or weather report, something like that. It, it, it tells about what the markets and market participants are trying to do uh, today or what is happening right now in the markets. It records the market activity, uh, basically the price activity and presents in a way so that uh, uh, one can study the auction behavior uh, and, and one can uh, study what kind of traders behavior is going on, right? So it uh, is a tool, uh, basically it uh, helps intraday trader and short term trader to understand what their trading competition is doing, or what kind of trading competition is doing, what smart money is trying to do or what the long term money is trying to do, what the short term players are trying to do, what the intraday players are trying to do. So it's, a, it's one way what, I mean, what a trader can take advantage of these kinds of information. It's all these are rich information which helps or enhances the trader's knowledge. Of course, it, it, it helps the traders to position themselves in a better way. So, and also it, it uh, uh, helps the traders to understand uh, not only to track the price, but also giving an, uh, uh, more importance to time and volume, right? So in, in this series, we are gonna talk a lot about uh, uh, the basic building blocks of market profile and some of the uh, terminologies which are essential to understand the basic building blocks of market profile, right? So uh, here is the market profile uh, uh, charts. Uh, it, it's mostly a timeless charts and uh, it is uh, one another way. It is nothing but a visualization of a 30 minute candlestick charts, right? So uh, what, what is uh, shown here is nothing but the market profile distribution. Uh, it's nothing, it also called as a daily profile, which tracks ideally nothing but the price distribution, how the price is getting distributed over a period of time. And of course, you know, most of the traditional uh, softwares just shows only the market profile distribution, but the modern tools, it shows the, both the combination of the market uh, profile that's nothing but the regular normal profile and also the split profile the split profile is nothing but the version of an, uh, candlesticks rather than the candlesticks it is, has been replaced by the letters right so every half an hour a letters get generated letter a comes from uh, at, at the market open right and uh, typically from 9 15 to 9 45 for indian markets and let once the letter a is completed by 9 45 a.m the letter B starts and wherever the price activity is getting uh, moving up and down, up and down. So all those uh, price activity movements will be printed with the letter B, right? So this letter B continues from 9.45 to 10.15 a.m. when it comes to Indian markets, especially NSE or BSC kind of markets. And then uh, once the letter B completed, the letter C, letter D, so every half an hour, it, it keeps on tracks the uh, price activity movements and then if you compress all the activity towards the left you get a market profile distribution so as an intraday trader or a short term trader it's a good practice to use a combination of both normal profile and a split profile and yes these days most of the modern software supports uh, split profiles as well and uh, typically the market profile is nothing but a re representation of the price distribution Whereas the volume profile is nothing but how the volume got distributed at each and every price levels, right? Uh, that, that's what uh, it differentiates between the market profile and the volume profile thing. And uh, the tools what I'm using here in today's uh, tutorial is nothing but the NinjaTrader 8 tool, which is of course it comes with a free license. You can download from www.ninjatrader.com and uh, there is one more third party add-on tool for market profile. Uh, which I am going to use in today's session is Bell TPO Market Profile Indicator, which you can download from www.belltpo.com. So now I'm going to show about the basic uh, difference between the 30 minute candlestick charts and the profile charts and uh, how uh, it tracks the trading activity. So if you are looking into the 30 minute candlestick charts over here, so this is Nifty future charts, by the way. 
and uh, here the prize open is over here similarly the open is represented in the form of letter o uh, over here and uh, the first candle here which starts from 9:15 to 9:45 right so which is nothing but the letter a so wherever the price activity is getting revisited the, the price keeps on moving up and down up and down that is replaced with the letter a right similarly the letter the second candle here which is nothing but uh, the market profile records in the form of records those price activity in the form of letter b and uh, then letter c letter d here and it keeps on printing till the letter m so throughout the day it keeps on printing the letter uh, m l and m so that's how uh, you you get the uh, each and every letters uh, price activity has been tracked in the form of letters ideally the letters has any uh, ideally the letters doesn't has any uh, meaning or significance either it can be represented in the form of any kind of letters or it can be represented in the form of blocks or bricks many trading analysis softwares use their own uh, uh, different way of representation right so ideally uh, it it doesn't matter over a period of time whether you are using letters or what letters you are using it doesn't matters so what matters over a period of time is that what kind of distribution you are getting uh, in a day or uh, how the volume is getting distributed in a day where most of the trading activity is happening where price is spending more time that is what the uh, essential thing one have to look out for right so let's discuss uh, the basic core principles of market profile so and market profile is not a, a new term it is uh, uh, it, it was an uh, uh, a tool which is developed by the legendary seabot trader uh, named Pete Steinmeier or Peter Steinmeier uh, during 1984. Later, Jim Dalton uh, enhanced uh, uh, market profile studies and uh, gave a newer dimension. Now, of course, Jim Dalton is quite popular for for his uh, market profile studies and uh, the way he think about the markets. He's quite uh, popular among the uh, professional trading community market profile it, it records uh, the price distribution over a time at each and every price intervals right so let's say um, let's go back to the previous slide example here you can see you can see uh, the letter g was traded only once uh, during uh, uh, around the price interval of 10530 if you take at the market tops Right, so one time over here, one time over here. Whereas if you think about this particular uh, place, probably let's take about this letter. Uh, every half an hour, once the price was coming and touching, almost three times, the this particular price got touched. This particular price somewhere around one zero five one eight, right? Five one eight. Let's say five one eight. Uh, this particular price has been uh, tested. Our price is getting revisited uh, again. Uh, three times in a row so one and two and three so this this particular price time spent three times right the, the or we can say like the candlestick charts is touching one zero five one eight three times in a row right on that particular day similarly if you take at the day center uh, more activity was happening at the day center probably you can see one two three four five six seven eight uh, if i count that this particular line i would say that eight times eight times so eight times over here time is spent more over here at this particular price interval around 104090 eight times the price uh, spent at this level and three times at the uh, around 10518 and at the day stop only once and at the day's bottom only once the price spent so it uh, Market profile emphasizes the importance of time. So over a, a period of time, every trader recognizes uh, how time plays a major role uh, uh, along with the price, right? So let's move on further. So it also explains uh, where the crowded uh, trading activity was happening most of the day, and it also explains where most of the volume is getting accumulated and uh, where volume is. Uh, minimal at or are completely absent again i'll get back to the previous example you can understand that more trading activity was happening time wise more activity was happening around the center point right whereas as the 
at the day's high you can see at the day's high so this is a day high level day high level you can see less amount of volume is represented over here so less volume over here and the day is low as well the day low as well the volume is getting thinner so the volume is getting thinner as the uh, day uh, high is approached or the day low is approached volume is getting thinner but at the center you can see the, at the center of the profile the day volume activity is getting thicker the volume day volume activity is getting thicker means more and more players are coming and participating at the day's middle than at the day's high and the day's low so here day's high and day's low have very thin volume right whereas the center of the day are some other places where you can see uh, the, the other places here where you, you find more and more volume is happening uh, in this particular example right so in the next tutorial we will be discussing about how normal distribution is related to market profile the bell curve or the normal distribution how it is related to market profile and also we are gonna learn some of the basic terminologies of market profile right see you in the next video thank you